In a previous video, I showed you how to calculate the electric force vector between two charges. In this video, I will show you how to calculate the magnitude of the electric force. As in the previous video, we had charge Q1 right here in position 0 minus 0 0.10 and charge Q2 at this position 0 0.200. Charge Q1 had a charge of 10 to minus 9 coulombs and charge Q2 had a charge of minus 2 times 10 to the 9 coulombs. In the previous video, we calculated the position vector that goes from 1 to 2 as the difference R2 minus R1 and then we found the magnitude of that vector. Now, the electric force from charge 1 on charge 2 is given by the constant 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught times the charge Q1 times Q2 divided by the distance squared times R hat. Now, if we want to calculate the magnitude of this electric force, then we need to take the magnitude of the right-hand side as well. An important property of unit vectors is that their magnitude is always 1. This is why they are called unit vectors. So when we take the magnitude of r hat, this becomes 1. The only other thing we have to be careful is to make sure that we take the absolute value of q1 times q2. Now, we know that the magnitude of any force is either 0 or a positive number. And if we look on the right-hand side, this constant is a positive number the absolute value of q1 times q2 is a positive number and the square of the distance is always is always um, a positive number now if we go in and use the numbers from this problem we will find that the magnitude of the electric force from 1 to 2 is equal to 9 times 10 to the 9 and this is the constant 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught right here times the absolute value of charge Q1, which is 10 to minus 9, times charge Q2, which is minus 2, times 10 to minus 9. And then we need to divide this with the distance that we previously found to be 0.22, and don't forget we need to square this distance. Now, even though here we have a negative sign, because we take the absolute the absolute value that goes away and the final result is a positive number 3.6 times 10 to minus 7 newtons now if you find the magnitude of the electric force ever to be a negative number you know that something went wrong because this magnitude can only be either zero or a positive number. 